Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim of Kakodash, double on self apostles, a great millstone that taught me this truth. And blessings to all you sincere ladies out there pushing this truth in all sincerity and faith and honesty. I'm not fellow servant, cannot glad coming at you once again, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. All right, I'd like to thank Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, for putting this spirit on me to do another lesson. Now, I don't know why, what, what I will title this lesson, but, um, Throughout this video, you know, uh, you know, hopefully it's just edifying, man. You know, uh, coming at you once again, a uh, spirit of prophecy. All right, I'm gonna get right to it because uh, things are popping off. It says, uh, this is from RT. It says, brother, can you spare a dime? Jeff Bezos or Bezos, forgive me if I'm mis mispronouncing that. He thrown as world's richest man. And listen when they say the world's richest men. All right, this this is just what they show the media. We know the world's richest people are the Rothschilds, all right, the Duponts, the Rockefellers. You know, um, the one percent, the elite banking families. Okay. It says, uh, plunging Amazon stock has caused his founder Jeff Bezos, or Bezos, Bezos, all right, either one. It says a fortune in a single day stripped him of the title of the world's wealthiest person, giving Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates the top spot. All right. So the Amazon. All right. And the reason why I'm bringing this information out is because to further prove the grinding is ceasing, man. All right. People don't have money to spend like they used to. All right. Because why? What they said are retail stores actually going in the store, actually going into your local Walmart. Or uh, Kmart, whatever you know, whatever your general merchandise, you know, store is, where you actually walk into the store and purchase things. Okay, they said the sales they would blame the, the poor sales, in you know, in general, you know, in the the in store sales, the poor sales for that because they say well, all the sales are going to online, like Amazon. All right, but here it is, even uh, you know, the the online sales, Amazon, even they're they're failing, man. Okay, so it says plunging Amazon stock has cost its founder Jeff Bezos a fortune in a single day, stripped him of the title of the world's wealthiest person, giving Microsoft co founder Bill Gates the top spot. Shares of the world's biggest online retailer, all right, were down around 9%. So, remember, that's what they were blaming on, you know, retail sales. Uh, that was uh, excuse, excuses for like uh, Toys R Us and, you know, other similar places closing because you can just go online. All right. It says online shopping overtakes a major part of retail for the first time ever. So this was published April 2019, earlier this year. So once again, online shopping overtakes a major part of retail. It says uh, the days of the Internet. All right. And online shopping being just fat had become long way over the years, says uh, Best Spokes. B Spokes Hall uh, Hickey. All right. It's lucky. This online shopping led by Amazon hit a new milestone in February. The total market share of non-store. Remember, non-store or online U.S. retail sales is higher than general merchandise sales. For the first time in history, All right? The days of the internet online shopping being just a fad have become a long way over the years. But February's retail sales report released Monday highlighted another of many major milestones that the growth of online shopping has reached over the years. All right. Paul Hickey, co-founder of Bespoke Investment Group, which reported statistics in a note to his clients Tuesday. All right. So it says the online sector, all right, referred to as clicks, has been slowly eating up the market in the past two decades. Its total rose from below 5% in the late 1990s to about 12% in 2019. All right. So it says in February, online sales nearly beat general merchandise stores, including department stores, warehouses, clubs, supercenters. All right. Non-store retail sales. 
last month accorded for 11.83 percent of the total all right so um you pretty much see you know the, the point the point i'm trying to make here um let me see it said i'll probably read the closing it says the, the u.s retail sales fell in february the last sign that u.s growth is slowing Retail sales dropped 0.2 percent as Americans scaled back on buying furniture, clothes, and food, and electronics and appliances. Economists polled by Reuters have predicted retail sales to rise 0.3 percent for the month. But the point is, as you can see, online shopping, you know, when they, you know, when the especially this CNBC, local news is Fox or what, well, you know, whatever your local news uh, station is. You know, their job is not to warn the people of the destruction coming, not to warn the people of the, the bad, uh, you know, sales. Their job is to paint that picture to make it seem like everything is going good. So that was their, uh, you know, their excuse for retail sales. It's like, oh, well, you know, reason why the stocks or sales are down in retail is because people are going online. All right. And that was their excuse. But now, as you can see. From this article here, all right, your boy Jeff, he was dethroned at world from the world's richest man because uh his stocks are right, was down. Shares of the world's biggest online retailer were down nine percent to one thousand six hundred twenty four during after hours trading on Thursday as Amazon reported disappointing third quarter earnings, spooking investors. All right, and that should spook investors because that was that was the excuse. Oh, well, stocks are down retail because people are going online. It says, despite increased sales, both Amazon's operating net income decreased by $500 million and $800 million, respectively, the company revealed. All right. The tumbling stock reported, reportedly cost Bezos or Bezos. Forgive me for mispronouncing his name. If, if you know the uh, correct pronunciation, put it in the comment board. It says the tumbling stock reportedly cost Bezos $6.9 billion. The losses brought Bezos' fortune already knocked down by costly divorce in Mackenzie Bezos. Yeah, because he had that divorce too. All right. I forgot. I believe the lady was receiving like something million a month or something. I, I forget. I had to go show you the woman, man. You know, this world is all upside down. Here it is. You can have a fortune, but you married to a woman. She takes a damn near half of your wages. It says down to 1.3, 103.9 billion, putting him behind Bill Gates, whose net worth is 105.7 billion, according to Forbes. All right, your boy Gates, that devil too. Okay, but we see what's happening here. You know, just early this year, you know, oh, they were saying how online sales overtake, you know, a uh, major part of retail for the first time ever, and they were blaming it on online sales. But here it is, online sales dropped. All right. So the Lord is shaking his place up and it says Jeff Bezos, the throne as well, richest man. So I'm going to get this preset real quick. It says the go to now, ye rich man. How weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. All right. Because a global economic uh, collapse is coming. Economic slowdown. People don't have the money anymore to to buy uh, the latest gadgets. Or to buy the the, the uh, trending clothes, okay. And if they are, is is they they're buying it off of credit, all right. Further, you know, putting a nail in the coffin on this system, and 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 further increasing the debt. You know, they're not buying it, with you know, with their own, you know, with with debit or cash. They're buying buying this stuff with credit cards, man. All right, everybody is broke. Nobody has any money. Gas is high, you know. Suicide rates are up. All right, people being oppressed upwards of the people all over the world because this system, they, they get ready to collapse this current system and move into the system of the market of beasts, which is the RFID chip. All right, and I got one more uh, article here because once again, it's just spirit of prophecy. You know, prophecies are speaking now. Matter of fact, let me get that before I continue on. You know, uh, and of course, it's the same scriptures. You know, ain't gonna be no different scriptures coming out. All right. Pretty soon, hey, we just gonna be able to just sit back and watch the show when that family of the word come. 
It says Habakkuk 2 and 3, For the vision is yet for a point in time, where the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Alright, and that's the point. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, right now, the vision is speaking, and it's not tarrying no more. Okay? We'll get into this next article. It says, one of the world's largest oil companies just ditched the dollar. Alright, it says, Russia's largest oil company, Rosneft has already completed the switch away from the U.S. dollar in an effort to minimize its exposure to U.S. sanctions. All right? Because, you know, America is getting ruthless with these sanctions, man. All right? It's really, man, is they're very aggressive with these sanctions. It says, Rosneft has already fully switched to euros as the base currency for all his, all his export contracts. So this is Russia's biggest company, oil company. And they're not they're no longer using the US dollar. It says Rosneft has already fully switched to Euros as the base currency for all its export contracts. And it's seeing big potential in working in Euros. Sechin said at the Eurasian Economic Forum in Verona, Italy on Thursday, according to Rosneft top ex executive, the Chinese Yuan uh could become a much more important global currency in the future because of Chinese economic growth. And that's just a demise, the downfall of uh, this American empire known as Babylon in the scriptures. All right. It says the share of the U.S. dollar in the global oil and oil products trade is around 90 percent currently. All right. And that's why, you know, we see all these things about the U.S. dollar. But the reason why the U.S. dollar is still strong, OK, is because it's. It's like um, it's still pretty much it's still um, what's what's the word I want to look for? For lack of a better term, it's still fluctuating throughout the system. All right, it's like you you know you do like a a coolant flush in your car, you know you flushing all the oil the old um, uh, you know coolant out to put in new coolant. So you know, but until you flush it, you got you know you gotta go go through and do a whole flush, and you want to replace the uh the uh, old with the new so that's why you know it's um this u.s dollar hasn't just fully collapsed yet because it's still you know being pumped throughout the system it hasn't been fully eradicated out of the system and the bad part about that is when it does finally collapse because you know it's not backed by nothing and all fiat currencies collapse you know history has proven this when it does collapse the the bad part it still being use 90 percent being used which is you know good part on our side those is in the faith and those is waiting on these things those is waiting on the return of you how about shimmy out shy all right you know it's going to be a global you know this, this is going to hit globally man all right that's that's the part about it since you you know since it's, it's like hot potato you know the last one with it you know in their hands is one that's it so they still juggling around this U.S. dollar within their system, right? When it collapses, they're going to fall right along with it, all right? So that's that's the good part about it, okay? So it says, uh, Sechin said, but noted that in 10 years' time, due to Chinese economy, the yuan could raise to a share from current from current to 2 to 5%. All right, and that's going to happen sooner than that because as we know, the scriptures say, Revelation 12 and 12, the devil is coming down, having great wrath because he knoweth he hath but a short time. Okay, so he's he wants to get this new world order into play. It says, Russia is looking at ways to settle its energy transaction in euros and or in rubles in order to avoid dealing with dollars. And if Russia is doing this, what makes you know think other countries aren't doing the same? It says, Russian economy minister Maxim Oreshkin. All right told the financial times in north an interview earlier this month at the beginning of october reports emerged that rosneft set the euro as the default currency for all new exports of crude oil and refined products okay so any oil being served being uh you know sold it won't be in the u.s dollar right which is you know a sort of you know another nail in the coffin to the u.s dollar so as a state controlled giant looks to switch as many sales as possible from U.S. dollars to euros. All right. Liquidation. Yep. Russia's uh, article here. Russia 
largest energy companies preparing to substitute petrodollar in settlements. All right. It says, as of September, Rosneft was seeking euros as the default option of payment for its crude oil and products. And this is uh, going going into the beast hating the whore as well. Because here it is, you know, they're using the euros, Europeans, European uh, currency, and uh, uh, NATO and the EU, all right, is uh, pretty much, you know, in, in uh, American allies, okay? Here it is, a Russian an enemy is using American allies' currency, and they're allowing them to, okay? It ain't like they're saying, oh, well, we're not, you know, we're with America. It ain't like the the, the EU is saying, we're with America, and, we you know, you're Russia, you're an enemy of America, so we're not going to allow you to use our currency. No, nah, they're letting them do it, okay? Which is going to create further more division. A house divided cannot stand, as the scriptures say. So the house of Edom is, is completely divided, and it will not stand, all right? It says, Rosnoff is the biggest oil exporter from Russia, selling around 2.4 million barrels per day, BPD, of oil, according to Reuters estimates. So, uh, the United States has not ruled out imposing sanctions on Rosnoff over its involvement in trading oil from Venezuela. All right, but the point is, this is 2.4 million barrels per day that will not be uh, backed by U.S. dollars, or it will not be traded or sold, all right, uh, with the U.S. dollar. So, you know, pretty much ultimately what this is going to call this, cause this hyperinflation, all right, in America, hey, as, you know, America is printing, I don't know, how, printing how, how many dollars a day to feds, and this is 2.4 million barrels, all right, and who knows how many gallons is in 2.4 million barrels, and gas is sold. Gas is sold by the gallon, all right? So, hey, you do the math, man, okay? So that's a lot of money that's not using being being used by the U.S. dollar. And America's printing money at the same time, okay? So this dollar is getting ready to collapse, man, all right? Um, what, sh what, what scripture can I close out with? Um, I'll close out with... Uh, of course, um, Revelation 13 and 16, okay, it says, and he calls all will small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that's the mark of the beast, as, as I, I use the metaphor of flushing out the, the, the U.S. dollar, you know, trying to use it, um, pretty much bringing down this old, uh, you know, economic system with the new, and it's going to be the new one, it's going to be the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. All right, in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Of his name. So it's not going to be uh, the U.S. dollar no more. It's going to be RFID chip, all right, by your uh, banking elites, okay? So with that, our Lord willing, you ratify it. We'll give all praise going on to you. How about Shimei Shai? Double honor to the apostles, the great millstone, the me the truth. And blessings all you sincere ladies out there pushing this truth in all sincerity and faith and honesty. Shalom.